Arctic have gone low. When I say low, I mean low profile with this. This is the Arctic Alpine 17 LP. So it's basically a low profile cooler, which is going to take up a lot less rooms, more compact and so forth. We're going to basically test it against the non-LP version, as well as the Intel stock cooler on a Socket 1700 motherboard. So let's have a look at the box. It says Arctic on the top corner. It shows a picture of the actual cooler in black and white, or should I say blue and white. It's telling you it's got a six year warranty. It comes with MX4 thermal paste. Uh, it also says it's a low profile CPU cooler for Intel. Obviously this is Intel socket 1700. On the back and the sides of the box, you've got a QR code for support and feedback. You've also got another QR code for the online manual. You've also got specifications on the other side, tells you things like the weight, which is 183.5 grams, as well as the dimensions, which is 95 by 95 by 53.5, and that's 53.5 high. And it's got a 200 millimeter cable and a few other bits and bobs on there as well. So inside the box, you've got just the cooler that is it there's nothing else in there other than a piece of cardboard which actually helps the cooler sit in there nicely without the need of a plastic tray on the bottom to protect the thermal paste which is really good do co commend these guys for their unique ways of doing things and saving out on all the plastic packaging and even paperwork because again it's a qr code on the box you just scan it shows you the manual so let's have a look at the cooler itself. Now, first things first is we've been low profile. That means obviously it's quite short. And saying that from the CPU to the top of the cooler, it's only 42.9 millimeters. So that's very, very short. We'll show you a comparison to an Intel cooler and the non-low profile cooler in a few minutes, just so you can actually see the difference. As you can see, it's got this nice design, nice white, white blades on there. And then you've got the black frame, which goes over the top it's very thin so it's not going to uh, like catch lots of dust or anything like that which is really good you've got your standard intel uh, pins on there for mounting it so you don't need any special back plates or anything like that it should be pretty straightforward otherwise you've got that 20 centimeter cable there it's your standard four pin pwm cable which will plug in uh, it's a nice what we call flat black cable so there's no snagging or anything like that it should be easy to route around your pc uh, not that it should have to go far because you'll only be plugging it into a socket right next to your CPU. But that's it, you can see straight through it, looks pretty good. You've got that pre applied thermal paste MX4. Would have liked to have seen the new MX6 or MX5 paste on there personally because you can uh, drop a couple of degrees using the, those pastes. But uh, again, that's something you may want to add on yourself. So we've got three coolers here we've got the Alpine 17 low profile which is the one we're reviewing today this is the standard well i'll say the standard it's a standard size one anyway this is a continuous operation version but it's the same sort of dimensions but it gives you an idea of the height difference well the, this one is slightly bigger than the intel one which is this one here this is one what you would get generally with most of your cpus or at least the cpus you would be using this with uh, you would get this cooler so as you can see the standard alpine 17 is quite a bit taller than the Intel one, but you can see the L low profile one compared to all three is a lot shorter. So it should save a lot of room in there, especially if you're going to be building a really compact PC. Now, what we're going to do is see if this outperforms that. I have a feeling it's not going to outperform that because basically that's a larger version of this, but we'll find out and see in a few minutes. So down to the testing, we used an Intel 12th Gen 12400 processor. That's an i5 processor. That's sort of at the limit that you want to really go when you're trying to cool or use this cooler to cool down a CPU. I wouldn't use it on a high-end i5, i7, i9 or anything like that. This is ideal for something like a Celeron, Pentium, i3 or a low-end i5 like the 12400, for example. Now, all tests we did three times using the same motherboard, the same process, the same everything. We even use the same paste. We use the MX4 to give it an even playing field across all of them. In this first test, we're testing the average temperature while the fan is running at 50% speed. And again, we average over three tests. And as you can see, the Alpine 17 LP, which is the one on the far right of the charts, performs roughly halfway between the standard Alpine 17 CO and the Intel stock cooler. So off to a good start in reality, considering it's a lot smaller than the 
Alpine 17 CO. Now we're checking for the maximum temperature. So that's the maximum temperature it goes up to. Again, getting up to 83 degrees here, but it's still a lot better. 8 degrees cooler than the Intel stock cooler. Yes, it's a bit behind, obviously, the standard Alpine 17 CO, but saying that, it is a lot smaller and compact. So it is actually performing well and able to cool down the CPU, which is pretty good. And all these tests are 30 minutes tests, and then we're getting the average. So on this one, we're running the fan now at 100% speed and as you can see here it got 66 degrees still three degrees better than the Intel stock cooler and a little bit behind the Alpine 17 CO but still performing fairly good a lot better than the Intel stock cooler and I'm guessing if you put some MX6 paste on there or better thermal paste it would actually perform a little bit better uh, so next we're going on to the CPU max temperature with a fan on 100% and again room temperature as you can see that is 21.5 degrees C we monitor it we've got air conditioning and heaters and all the usual stuff and as you can see here it just beats out the Intel stock cooler by a couple of degrees uh, where the Alpine 17 CO does perform a lot better but still it's performing very well considering it's a compact cooler and I wouldn't definitely say no to it if I was building an ITX case or some form of compact piece so that's for sure and now we're checking the fan noise this is the above the room decibel of 37.4 decibels and the alpine 17 lp so the low profile one is getting four decibels above room that's with the fan set at 100 percent not as good as the 17 co but still a lot better than intel stock cooler but in average it's performing basically between the two, so it's better than the Intel stock cooler uh, because obviously, well, it's performing better, it's quite obvious there, but it's not as performing as better as the 17CO, which is to be expected because it is a more compact cooler, but saying that, it still manages to perform well considering and would have no problem cooling an i5-12400, for example, or a lower processor. Again, all depends on your case cooling, obviously, if you've got very little airflow in your case those temperatures might be a little bit higher and so forth otherwise I can't really say anything bad it's generally it's a very good price it's a lot better than an Intel stock cooler which to be honest with you I wouldn't really recommend unless you were running a really low-end processor uh, and it does everything it should do so I can't do anything but highly recommend this cooler well done Arctic I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.